related acute angle or reference angle. An acute angle between the terminal arm of an angle in standard position and the x-axis is called related acute angle. Now what is that? Let's try to understand it from this figure. Let me make first a coordinate plane, right? Whenever we say that angle is in standard position, it means what? So you learned from my last video that standard position means that the vertex of the angle will be at the origin and the initial arm will be along positive x-axis and terminal arm can be anywhere, right? So anywhere in any of the four quadrants. So let's say that the terminal arm is here, right? So the angle formed is like this. As it moves from initial to the terminal arm, it makes an angle which is shown in red. Let's call this angle as theta. Now, so we are introducing you to a new term which is related acute angle. This is also called the reference angle. An acute angle between terminal arm of an angle in standard position. So this is an angle in the standard position. So an acute angle between the terminal arm of an angle in standard position and the x-axis. So which angle we are talking about? We are talking about this angle. The angle between terminal arm and the x-axis. The horizontal x-axis. That angle is called the related acute angle, right? So we will normally represent this angle with alpha, right? So that is one way of representing. And some books will say theta dash. Well, I'll represent it most of the time as alpha, alpha for acute, right? So related acute angle, remember, it is an acute angle, right? Therefore, it has to be between zero and 90 degrees. That's one part. Second thing we'll always say that our acute angle is always positive. We'll always treat it as positive, right? So always positive. Now, in trigonometry, we have a lot of applications where this angle theta and acute angle alpha are required to solve the problems. Now remember that acute angle is the angle between the terminal arm. So that is our terminal arm, right? And the x-axis, that is x-axis. In case we have, we have a figure here, let me draw one here and show you that let's say this time our angle is like this. Then what is the related acute angle? The related acute angle in this case is this much. Do you understand? That is the related acute angle. Correct? So it is always between the terminal arm and the x-axis. Whether it is positive or negative x-axis, it doesn't matter. Or you can say terminal arm and the horizontal, right? So key things here is that the angle should be represented in standard position. That is the key issue to remember here. The angle has to be in standard position, okay? Only if it is in standard position, we can talk about the related acute angle. Otherwise, not. Okay. Let us say this angle here is 225 degrees. If this angle is 225 degrees, that is, I'm saying if theta equals to 225 degrees, then what is alpha, the related acute angle? The related acute angle will be how much more it is from 180, right? So it would be 225 minus 180 degrees, correct? So that is how we are going to get related acute angle. So when you take away, you get 45. So if theta is 25 degrees, then alpha is 45 degrees, correct? That is the related acute angle. In this case, let us say theta is it is more than 90 and less than 180, right? So let us say it is around 140 degrees, correct? Then what is the related ang acute angle alpha? Alpha will be 140 is this much, right? How much it is? 
actually it is taken away from 180 right so minus 140 from 180 so we can write this as 180 minus 140 which is 40 degrees correct so from here to here is 140 40 more will make it 180 degrees correct so it will be 40 degrees similarly if we have related acute angle in quadrant 4 let us say our angle here this time is this is my initial arm and let's say that is my terminal arm and the angle if theta let's say from here to here let's say theta is equal to it has to be more than 270 let us say it is 310 degrees then how much is alpha the related acute angle how will you measure that alpha is this direction this much angle angle between the terminal arm and the horizontal x-axis so it is total is 360 so it should be 360 degrees minus 310 which gives me 50 degrees therefore in this case alpha is going to be 50 degrees so that is my related acute angle now whether it is counterclockwise or clockwise it doesn't really matter related acute angle is always positive and it is acute that means it is between 0 and 90 degrees correct so that is how we have to see our related acute angle so it is not more than 90 degrees and it is always positive okay thank you